so my iMovie library has gotten up to 62 gig now and it's um, it's taking up too much space on my local drive so I want to move it off to an external hard drive I'd also like to to back it up via Dropbox if I can and I've already got Dropbox running on my external drive so as soon as I move it into the Dropbox folder on that drive I'll have the best of both worlds basically now to move the library it's physically located in your movies folder. If you're not sure, like if it doesn't show up in the, um, the favorites here like mine does, you can go up here and click go in the finder window and select home. And then once you're in your home folder, you can go to the movies folder and you're there. And that's where it'll be located by default on pretty much any Mac. Now, I'm using iMovie, the latest version that comes with OS X El Capitan and it's 10.1.2 so this might be a little bit different on older or newer versions as they come out but on this version basically we want to move our physical library folders and I've got my folder on my external hard drive set up ready to go so first thing we want to do is make sure that we're not going to be missing any of our video files. So now, the first thing we want to do is consolidate all of our video files in so that if we move anything, we don't risk losing those videos. Now, they're probably stored somewhere else anyway. I know mine are, but just to be on the safe side. Now to do that, we want to go up to Project and we want to select our projects, um, all of them. So I've just pressed Command A to do that. And then we want to go File and click the Consolidate Project Media uh, button. Now that will be greyed out if you haven't selected any projects, so make sure to select all of them first. And then it will ask you to confirm. Just click OK. So this is basically telling you that it's going to copy all of the media files into the library. So it's potentially going to make it bigger. So that's something to be aware of. You will need to have some space on your library drive already, uh, but it'll tell you if there's not enough room. So click OK. It'll tell you what it has done or doesn't hasn't done. Looks like my media is already in my library, so it doesn't need to do any consolidation. If yours does, it'll run through the process of doing that and then tell you when it's done. So I can click OK. That's all good. Now. To move the library, we first want to go up to our preferences and we want to untick the automatically upload theatre content to iCloud. Okay? Basically, that is going to disconnect our theatre from iCloud. Now, our projects don't automatically synchronize, we have to actually tell it to. So, that is not a problem, it's just the theatre. Now once that's done, we want to quit iMovie completely. So we can hit Command Q or quit iMovie. And wait for it to completely close. We can then basically just copy the library over and copy the theater as well while we're at it. Now that, depending on the size, might take a little while and also depending on the speed of the drive you're moving it to. Once our library has finished copying over to our destination, we can then just go ahead and double click on it and that will open up iMovie with our new library. So there we go, we can see it's reading it, it's loading it up, it's the first time. Now if you're moving it to a external drive that is not a solid state drive, it'll probably be a bit slower than what you're used to if you're used to a solid state one. So that's um, opened up, and it looks like it's pulled everything in. So now we can see here if we go File, Open Library, we've got two iMovie libraries there. One is our old one and one is our new one. And we can now go ahead and just delete the old iMovie library and the iMovie theatre. Now, whoop, there we go, it's just linked it up to my 
new theater. So that's it. That's all you have to do. And your iMovie library is now moved. Uh, if you do want to sync it back up with iCloud, your theater, then you just come back up here and tick to automatically upload content to iCloud under your iMovie preferences. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. And uh, if you have, please make sure to click the like button and also subscribe for more videos like this from me.